got some chickens and a rooster. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, guys. So here's a familiar site you haven't seen in a while. I've been in here, but I haven't worked in here or videos in here. But uh, here's the shop. And uh, yeah, so there's the Ranger with the Molten Orange Pearl. I'm going to go ahead and use this to take some the wheels and tires for the Silverado. But uh, yeah, so I was told the battery doesn't charge and I'm wondering why. <laughs> yep, let's go ahead and take this truck out, go pick up the tires and install them on the wheels. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys the wheels and the tires that I got for the truck. All right, so check this out. These are some stock 18 inch wheels from a Dodge Ram 2500. These are the 18 inch. And uh, I actually drove an hour to go get these. Uh, they're stock wheels, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, like they are, check this out. These are brand new. Uh, like they're just a little dirty, but they are actually brand new. You know, they have the valves. No, no t tire pressure monitoring system. I don't need that. He even gave me the center caps, and I even have the box of the 32 lug nuts. So obviously, I drove an hour to go meet up with this guy. He was really cool about it. I was a little bit overthinking the situation, but I talked to him and he was like so cool about it. He was like, you know what? If you're interested in these wheels, they're yours. Like, I'm gonna have them right here for you. Just drive safe, you know, take it easy on the road or whatever. I'm gonna be here waiting for you. So it was like, awesome. So I still, I still, I still got there and we talked, you know, like I said, he gave me the wheels, center caps, lug nuts, everything. I even offered, you know what? Well, can I give you a little bit extra money? He was like, no, don't worry about it, you know? Take them, these wheels, I prefer you use them. He got some aluminum stock wheels, but like, you know, aluminum. Uh, so he was really cool about it. So huge thanks to Luis T. I'm not gonna say his full name, but like Luis T, he's from Far. So, you know, really great guy, like awesome. Just awesome deal. And a bit later, I went ahead and got these tires. These are like, they're off of eBay. Uh, some of the cheap tires, you know, like uh, I think they're the Lionheart LH 10s. And uh, for the tire size, for the tire size, I got the 255, 55, 18s. So these end up being 29 inches tall by 10 inches wide. Um, I was thinking about the 255, 50s, but those were 28 inches tall and uh, 10 inches wide. So uh, it's still a four-door truck. So really happy with this deal. Four wheels, tires, still at a great, great price. So. Let's go ahead and get these in a truck and I'll take them to town so I can have them mounted.
so I'm out. It only took about five minutes. He installed all the four tires and the valve cores and he inflated them to the air pressure. Uh, and he only charged 20 bucks, which is a great price. So right here in Robles Tires in Rio, Rio Grande. And uh, yep, so just awesome job. And uh, we're going back to the house. Go see what these tires look like. I have them right here in the back. And one of the center caps right here. So let's go. All right guys, so here are the wheels. We're back at the house and uh, check out check out the uh, truck. This is the it's a 2001 Chevy Silverado. It's a 1500 HD, so it's not a 2500. It's not a 1500. It's 1500 HD, so it's still eight lugs. Um, unfortunately, I don't use it that much, and I've just been letting it sit, just deteriorating, just year by year. Uh, Every year though, I do update the, I renew the tag and I just drive it through town just like about once, twice maximum throughout the whole year. And it's just been sitting, uh, but this year I'm hoping that I could uh, just drive it around more often. And um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to installing the wheels. Uh, so here they are, 18s, like I said, 255, 55 tire. That's what those look like. Not too thin, not too tall either. So overall, it's a 29 inch height by 10 inch uh, foot pattern. Over here I have the, um, it's a box of lug nuts. So these lug nuts, like the box, are the ones that he bought for his truck. But the ones he took off are all here. I already counted them, they're 32. And uh, they are the M14 uh, by 1.5. So, and just in case, Dodge Jeep. Ram, whatever, and these were from Coyote Accessories. So, yeah, let's go ahead and begin installing, swapping out tires, take off these uh, lug nuts, and see what the truck looks like. Here's the brake rotor, rusted, obviously hasn't been used for a while, um, but not that serious damage. I think it still has brake pads in there, still good. The suspension is alright. I've replaced it before, but I'm pretty sure there's some old pieces that need to be replaced, especially the shocks. Um, the spindles, these are drop spindles, so I'll leave the links for these. These are... Um, for the four bolt, obviously, for eight lugs. Not the three bolt, for six lugs. But um, speaking of bolts, uh, these are these are eight by 6.5 bolt pattern. And I'm not sure the size of the hub diameter, but um, they have the same bolt pattern as the Dodge Rams, eight by 6.5. The only thing is the Dodge Rams have a bigger hub diameter than the Chevy, so the Dodge Ram can fit in the Chevy, but the Chevy can't fit on the Dodge Rams. So, just a thought, putting it out there. Uh, as far as the bolt patterns, you know, there's some different uh, websites that say different things. Uh, some Chevys that go up to a 2007, the, the 2007 and up changes the bolt pattern, the eight lugs, and some other pages say that up to a 2010 the HD versions uh, change the bolt pattern after 2010 it's a different one the the new bolt pattern uh, so that's why it just kind of makes it a little bit uh, difficult you know finding some wheels because not a lot of good looking ones and you know
All right, so here is the rear setup and before I install the tire, uh, there's a few things that I need to do. Um, first off, I still have a jack stand and a jack. And um, so yeah, so the first thing I do, uh, you'll notice that I don't have a shock installed. Uh, so for that, I, I got these. These are the Beltec Street Performance and here's the part number. So these are anything between a five to a seven inch drop. So I need to install some shocks. And aside from that, um, so right here I have three leaf springs plus, you know, the support. And um, when I was doing the, you know, the notch, I actually took off one of the leaf springs because I thought it was an adder leaf that I had installed whenever I had the truck lifted. But it turns out it just, it's just lower, like way lower from the back. And by installing these new tires, it's just going to go a little bit lower since they're shorter than the ones over there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just install the leaf and then install the shock and then we'll install the tire. Okay, so this is a four inch clamp. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hold the leaf springs together, hold them close. And then I'll get the wrench for the bolt holding the leaf springs. And then just... There it is. Right, that's heavy. So here's that other leaf spring. And um, well, since these are already loose, they're loose. I'm gonna put this, get the other clamp. top piece and then we'll put the U bolts something like that and lower the differential And then we'll get the bottom plate and the bolts. That's it. Now we have uh, four leaf springs plus the support one. Um, just tighten, tighten everything. Okay. All right. Here it is installed and uh, I'm just gonna say wearing all black is not the best option to be laying underneath the truck but um, check this out it looks amazing like I like it I love it um, the tire size you know the, the wheel size and then I already installed the other leaf spring so now I have like five in total I uh, already installed one of the Beltec um, Street Performance shocks. Uh, it's pretty dark, but it's already tightened, you know. So I have them installed, and this is just one side. So now, like, cause the truck used to bounce like without the shock, but now it's just like really sturdy. So, and check out the it's kind of level. Once I, ha I have the other side installed. I'll pull the truck out and I'll show you guys the whole truck. But uh, let me just go ahead and do the other side. All right guys, so I just finished working on the truck and it's done. Right now I just have a little bit of mixed feelings, a little bit of uh, disappointment, but I'm also excited at the same time. But uh, let me flip the camera and I'll show you why. All right, so here it is. I mean, overall, it looks it looks awesome. I like it. 
Uh, maybe I could do it with a little bit lower on the front. I don't want to move the back. Uh, but the chassis underneath, you know, it's kind of level. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Everything came out, like, awesome. Like, the back, I put the other leaf spring. And I installed the shocks. You know, everything came out right. The reason I'm a little bit disappointed is I didn't notice till I was done. And yeah, check it out. The tire has rotation and I installed them backwards. Um, so right now I'm just a little bit tired. And if you see the back one, I also put it backwards. And I thought maybe just two tires. Yeah, I could have just swapped them. But, you know, I did all of them. <laughs> I put these two are supposed to go on the other side and the other two are supposed to go on this side. So they're all backwards. And uh, like I said, I'm just a little tired and it's eight lugs, like eight, you know, lug nuts on each tire. So it's 32 back and forth. And I don't know if I have the jacks available to swap them, but uh, yeah. So there's a small, small little gap right here. I could probably close down the tire is a little shorter so I, I want to close the gap down a little bit over here in the back and that just looks awesome that just looks awesome so the tire size the uh, the bed the gap everything just looks great right there so hit that thumbs up if you agree leave me a comment but uh yeah so that's that's the truck that's Vexi if you guys want to learn more about Vexi you know leave some comments um yeah pretty much pretty much <laughs> all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video boom that's pretty much it for this video um so I have some great news coming up. Uh, I, I'll mention it in a different video. Um, also, I'm working on another video just working at the shop in town. And I want to ask you guys to watch that video as well. Uh, I'm working on it currently. So, you know, it's still I'm still recording and I'm still editing and all that. So, But it should be out in a few days. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so that's going, to, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.